Welcome to Home with Simone. My name is Simone and a huge thank you to everyone that continuously supports my channel. Whether you're new or an existing subscriber, thank you so very much. And if you're watching my channel and you're enjoying my content, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bells. Also, leave a comment and hit that like button. Today's video is a Halloween video. We've entered into spooky season and unfortunately the kids cannot go out and trick or treat. So I'd like to share with you guys some of the fun activities that can be done on Halloween. Sorry, the talking in the background is my son. He's doing uh, homeschooling. This is real life guys, so we'll just work with it. So the first thing that was picked was the candy rings. These are basically ring pops. That's what they are. Back in my day, we called them ring pops. But what makes them different is they have, instead of the traditional pacifier look, they have like a jack-o'-lantern and then there's a little, I forget what his name is, but this little guy, there's a ghost, there's a bat. So they just kind of make it festive. This I paid $3.50 for. Then I grabbed some sesame crisps. I don't know if a lot of people know about these, but they're so nice. It's not really a healthy alternative, but it's a way, it's another way to eat like the sesame seeds and things like that. It's really sesame seeds and honey. That's what it is. And I paid a dollar for these and it comes as four in each individual pack. Then we grabbed some lollipops. The only thing that makes it spooky is that it says spooky aside from that. It's just orange. Was it orange, purple, and green? So we got Twix and we have some Mars bars. We have some Snickers. And these are all the minis. This is not like huge big ones. They're just the minis. And then we have the candy bones. Now you can get them regular bones. But this one is just pumpkins, bats, and then little bones. This is perfect for the season. And then we got Kit Kats. Again, everything is the small mini sizes. I also have coffee crisps, but these are not for the kids. This is for Shiloh and I. <laughs> so all of these candies are going to be used for the scavenger hunt. I am lucky enough to have a rooftop garden in my building. So Shiloh's going to go out about five minutes before I go with the kids. And he's going to hide all of these candies throughout the playground. And then the kids will go with their little buckets and they will collect as many candies as they can. So these are the buckets that I chose. They were $1.75. And we have the first one here. It's the little bats. And I try to get things that are not like really scary because the kids are three. So we have the little bats. I think it's a perfect size for the kids. They don't need anything that's much bigger than this. And then we have the little black cats. But I think this one's so cute. Like I love the one with the little bow in front. It's so cute. And these were $1.75. I don't know if I said that already, but. And then we have the typical pumpkins, the jack-o'-lanterns. So I really like these. This is a great idea. The kids got to carry their own candies and <laughs> that is something that's easy for them to carry. I'm going to do packages with the rest of the candies to send home, but this is just the activity part. Also, the kids are coming dressed in their costumes, so they're really excited about that. The other thing I did was I got these pumpkins from Dollarama. They cost $3.00. And I wanted to get all the same, but I couldn't find all the same. So we have two different ones here, three in total, two the same, one different. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to decorate the pumpkins. So I ordered stickers from Amazon. I wanted something that the kids can keep that's easy for them to the manage. stickers that I got to go on the pumpkin. I got them from Amazon, so I'll make sure and link that in the description box. And I'm going to show you guys. So they come with popsicle sticks. And let's have a peek at some of the images. So we have a, I think it's a dragon because it has a little tail, which it will kind of look like this. Oh, 
So there's two of them. Oh, I think there's two of each. That's great. So if two kids wanted to do the same one, they can. Here's a unicorn. And the popsicle stick you would use to stick the horn on. And then you can stick that right into your pumpkin. And yep, it comes with two. And then we have the owl. <laughs> the owl is just so cute. And oh, the sloth. So beautiful. So I think the kids will have a lot of fun creating their pumpkins with these. The other thing I got for the kids, and I thought this would be so much fun, are these straw cups. I remember in the 80s and 90s, we had bowls and cups and stuff like this where they have the little straw on the bottom. And I thought this would be so much fun for the kids. And guess what? They get to take their cups home. So again, this is something that they can use. I think they're so cute. It really brought me back to my childhood. $2 each. I also got the mini Oreos and peanut free, which is great because when I send them home, if they have older siblings, because I am sending them home with quite a bit, the older siblings can take them to school. But I also got just mini Oreos and the mini Chips Ahoy for their afternoon snack. They're going to be all sugared up. We're going to order a pizza and they're going to have such a great day. Now, the other activity that I have for them, and I do this in Christmas as well, is the skeleton cookie kit. This is also from Dollarama. I think I paid a dollar for it. There's no price. I don't remember, but I really think it was a dollar. This is a great activity for them. It's a complete kit. You have the skeleton itself you also have your little sprinkles in, on the inside of it and you have your iceland that you put on it and it gives them the ability to get creative get those creative juices flowing and then they get to eat their cookie after so that's exciting as well now for those of you that have kids in school and the teachers are accepting bringing in things packaged items this is also a good idea to bring in because it is peanut free and most schools are peanut free and it just has to and from. If my son was going to physical school, I would have sent 35 of these cookies to his class <laughs> and it would be to every single classmate and then from and his name. So these make great gift ideas as well. It would be fun for the kids to dress up and go to their friends' houses with little packages and leave to the door. And this is something that's super, super easy for them to do. Things, the other things I wanted to show you guys were these. How cute are these? I got this from a company. It is a small business and it's called Iris and Rose and she does like lots of different things. But for the season, she did these spooky treats and you have to and from. And so we have the ghost and she does all different types. These are filled with Hershey's Kisses, but I'm sure... If you wanted it to be filled with jelly beans or anything like that, you can always ask her and she's willing to go ahead and make that adjustment for you. I will link her Instagram in the description box. So this is the little ghost and I love that little bow on her head. It's so cute. And then we have a pumpkin. We have the little bat. <laughs> And we have a spider. She has a little bow on her ear, on her head. It's so cute. And then we have like just another spider without the bow. Whoops. Yeah, without the bow. And another ghost without the bow. So a little boy ghost, a little boy spider, a little girl ghost, bat, and a pumpkin. And she can do these for all different types of things. You can do them as... Thank yous for baby showers. You can do them as thank yous for birthday parties, for engagements, for so many different things you can do. Tell her the theme and she can go ahead and instead of using a ghost, she can put whatever it is that's theme specific and fill it with whatever candies you want. So check out her Instagram. Hopefully this video was helpful and you're able to get some ideas to make sure that Halloween is still fun for your little ones. I'll see you all in my next video.